Hey, what's going on, guys? Master Luke48 here, and today we are back playing Minecraft Prank Play, guys. This is episode 29, and I got some special plans for today, but first, we have some chores that we need to attend to. I always, in between cuts and everything, whenever I'm just on the server, I always am collecting the pumpkins to go trade with our villager so that we can always get more... Oh, yeah, this, um... This kind of, um, this, you see, this used to be all pigs, but pigs, when they get struck by lightning, they turn into zombie pigmen. So, you see, uh, there was a lightning storm, and it kind of struck my pig pen. So now I just have a whole family of, of zombie pigmen. Fred is still okay, he's down here and everything, but we still gotta find out who caused this bomb. We did a bunch of interviews last time, but first things first, as I was, as I was saying, we have to um, first go to our villager and trade up the emeralds, but it is raining, oh dear. No! Bad zombie, get away from my villagers, they're mine. Oh gosh, there's phantoms now, oh dear. Hi Mark. I just want to quickly trade with you because there are some scaries that are outside and I don't want to have to deal with them. So just quickly give me all the emeralds and we'll be good. Thank you so much for your service, Mark, and bye-bye. Also, I've been checking the enchantment table. I always check the enchantment table for good enchants. And we have Unbreaking 3 on a diamond sword. Now I think we should do that. It might be worth it. I think we have some lapis in here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do it. Um, I don't think there's really anything else that we could do. Let's check the helmet. Thorns too. Eh. We just, let's just go with this. Um, if it, hopefully it's good. Please add some other enchants to it. <gasps> oh my gosh. What, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh. I think this is the best weapon in the game. Um, oh dear. If I am not mistaken, I do have uh, a sharpness four sword. So what's this? Sharpness five, looting three, fire aspect two. Unbreaking 3 and knockback 2. And if I'm not mistaken, I also have a mending book. If I go here, this, with this, Master Sword. That seems about right. I think we just got the best sword in the game. Alright. I think I'm going to keep this safe. I'm just going to put that in there for now. Uh, just as if nothing ever happened, we're just going to... Uh, we're just, uh, we don't need the other players knowing that we have the best, uh, sword in the game. Um, okay. Now that is what I call enchanting table luck. One other sword that we need to do is involved with our zombie EXP grinder. Have we gotten any payments yet? We have not. Great. Any payments for this? No. Okay. Alright, we need to go down here to where the zombies are. And, okay, there's none here, so we can actually do this now. Okay, so what we gotta do is we just gotta go in here, and we need to find the spot where they will land and put a piston to block it off. So I think that's this block right here needs to become a piston. Okay, so if we go here and then put this here. Okay, yeah, it should block them off if I put a lever here. There we go. All right, so see, it blocks off the zombies. So if the next one will fall, it should land on the piston. Okay, yeah, they get caught up on the piston, and we can open that, and they all fall in. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do that because um, zombie villagers spawn from this uh, zombie spawner, and I just wanted to make it easier for us to, like, easily turn it off. So what we can do is we can get rid of all these uh, other zombies, and then just have the zombie villagers, and then we can just go ahead and quickly turn off the thing so that we can move our zombie villagers up to the surface and cure them, which is what I've been doing because we need villagers. Villagers are pretty useful. Okay, that's another chore done. All right, now that some things have been taken care of around the server, I think it's time that we continue our investigation about the explosion that hurt Fred. Now what happened was Lit Lemon was walking out of my mansion as I was distracted by Kind Monkey all the way back there behind my mansion. He walks out and activates TNT, which explodes my the front part of my base, hurting Fred. Lit Lemon is obviously the prime suspect, but we can't jump to conclusions. We need to at least make sure that it's him. Now, he says he just wants to go in my house to say, see if I was there. Now, if that was true and the TNT was planted there by someone else, he would have walked in my door, activating this pr the pressure plate that was here on this block, and he, the TNT would have exploded with him inside the base. But what happened was he was walking out of my mansion, activating the TNT then, so how could he have gone through my front door without activating any, anything? Which leads me to believe that he went in without activating anything, planted the TNT, walked out, and then said, oh, it was just there. Let's just assume that the perpetrator, whoever activated or planted the TNT, we won't assume it's Lit Lemon, but let's just say whoever planted the TNT did not use the front door. There's actually another way to enter my base, the, the mines. A while ago, Lit Lemon had a house um, at the old village, and his mine and my mine connected. 
and it's a big distance, but that's the only other way that I could think of that someone could have entered um, my mind. So I don't know. Let's see where it could have been. I think it might have been under here. This is his mind. This is how he got up. Um, this is how, like, this is where he mined a while ago. Would you guys go away? Aha! This is where he was. So see, this is where my stairs dip down because there is a staircase which goes all the way up over here. If we go all the way up this old staircase, it should lead us to Lit Lemon's old base. Okay, are we at the top? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, yeah, this is Lit Lemon's old base at the village. So, you can enter my base from all the way over here at the old village and still get in my base. I think our mansion would be in that direction. So let's go back down. So that is one way a perpetrator could have entered my base without me knowing. The thing is, I don't know when the TNT was planted. Because I walked over that pressure plate, because I was going back down to here, getting blocks and everything to fix up the front of my base where I was, like, numerous times. So I don't know when it was actually planted there. One of my theories is maybe the perpetrator could have just been sitting here the entire time, because I wouldn't have noticed. But also, it could have just been Lit Lemon, in the end, just who ran up and put TNT down. The only way the person could have entered my base is through the mine, and then stayed under here, and then planted the TNT after Lit Lemon came in, or... I don't know. Anyway, that's my dilemma. Be sure to comment down below, actually, what you think happened, and who you think is responsible for this. Um, but, because I, I honestly am stumped, I'm gonna have to be doing some more research, I'm gonna need to become a super detective in order to figure this out, but don't worry, we will avenge Fred, we will figure out who did this, uh, never happens again. Man, I mean, look at this explosion. I mean, it left Fred permanently on four hit points. This is not okay. Anyway, I think that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, please consider hitting that like button, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future Minecraft prank play content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!